so much fucking tennis in this movie. No, there's yeah. so uh, much tennis in this movie. There's the, not the, very much tennis in this movie. There's not much tennis in this movie. Oh like, much tennis in this movie. Uh, yeah, but it's, cro- oh. it's but it's cross cutting with uh, with uh, uh, Robert. What's his name? Walker taking a Bruno, taking a train Bruno. somewhere. Bruno. There is also the shoulder projection in this movie. I don't, I don't know if this has ever been done before. Oh, that's so great! Like an hour and a half. That's so great! I I love it. None more yelling. I don't know if this has ever been done before, but the shot behind Tad. That is such a fucking amazing yeah, scene. Yeah, that was so a good. Oh my god, that is an good. amazing shot. There oh are many god. amazing shots in this movie. There is also a fuck ton of tennis and rear projection. There's so yeah, much tennis in this movie. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot also, of rear projection. Also, I didn't know this, but it was nominated for best cinematography. It should have been award. As somebody, as somebody who, film was as somebody crisp, who used man. to watch a lot of tennis, uh-huh. I was like. God damn, this is a lot of fucking tennis. <laughs> <laughs> like, it really like, does. It, you get every score. You get every point yeah. that's scored in this. Oh, in this oh, we're 10, we're 10, 10 that in the third set. Listen, if you took time in the movie, you just mean it's a long sequence, but. There's like a whole. Okay, did anybody notice? Goddamn movie. Did anybody notice in during the tennis match that sometimes the um the actors were playing in front of a still photograph of the yes. audience? Yes. And also, and also yes. some of the doubles weren't. They looked so much not like the actors. I know. <laughs> like, oh yeah. Like, the matching like guy, wasn't very like good. Guy's yeah. double. Guy's double was like a Hispanic guy at one point. I swear <laughs> to God. Like I was just like, this is also important question for you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, what yeah. do you think powers a merry-go-round? It's electricity, right? Right. Yeah. It seemed to be uh, steam no, in this. No, well, no, wait. it's car- no. They're powered by carny magic. No, <laughs> oh, Carney magic. That makes total sense. Which is, why, which is why the old guy was the only one that could shut it off. But, but, yes. but, Carney but, started but, only a Carney can turn it off. That's, that's it. A great, I love, but I did There's love a great dude, big electrical the plug. sequence. The Goes sequence that was super dope. Yeah. I had no idea there'd be so much yelling about this movie. This is great. <laughs> it was so fun. No, when it when it, when you actually see what happens when it's done, you're like, oh shit, that was, it was so cool. Yeah. it's like it's all fucked up. All right, well, I mean, that is like you know you're okay. So like this is the climax. There is no mistaking what's going on. And this the, is the, the climax part, of the, the best, movie. The best part about, that, part about exactly. that is like as soon as that lever goes, yeah. and and the best part is like the girls. Like the like, they're probably like high school to college age girls are screaming in fear, and the eight year old kid is just loving it. Like he's loving it. Like, <laughs> I love right it. Like, yes. But that's Hitchcock. That's the Hitchcock. I just punch. want to know why this yeah. under five yeah. got so much FaceTime. Like he he's got so much FaceTime in this movie. I know. As a leisure, well, that was a very oboe. leisurely, uh, cameo. leisurely like, cameo. I have to put yeah. this big ass oboe. I have to put this. I have to put this uh, dual bass up yeah. here. I know Scott forever. will want to pontificate on this but i was i've seen this three times this is probably the fourth time i've seen Never it seen i love it. this movie mm-hmm. but i did not know that it was based a on a patricia highsmith novel right and Which b written by raymond fucking chandler i know yeah. it's great it's- and two other people what the fuck it was it, right it, where this, was where they weren't playing tennis it was tight th- this yeah. scene mm-hmm. this scene so good where he's just behind her yeah. the entire time so good. and then and eventually she just breaks and yeah. she's just like <sighs> yeah and then comes back up and it's gone again but uh-huh. she has that moment of just like crying into her face god damn the women the 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 female leads in this movie are better so than the male oh, dude how about, how about well, they are better than the male leads about, good yeah. no how about right before the scene where she basically tells his mother your son is a murderer right yeah and the mother's like and the mother's like yeah not really but i'm gonna go now right. like, yeah. it's just like what i don't want to hear this i'm out of here exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. By the yeah, way, that's uh, that's fantastic. That's Aunt Clara from Bewitched. By yes, the way, let me go back for a sec. You know, th- this film, you know, okay, this there's there's gay subtext is one of those things that runs through tw- you know twentieth American cinema, right? There's subtext, and especially there's Hitchcock, probably. subtext where it's kind of suggested. This is some level above subtext. It's like front text. So, so text. <laughs> Yeah, the like yeah. touching of the feet at the very beginning of the film is like, wow, we're we're on our way, man. <laughs> and, uh, and it his it's going on my OnlyFans. You know, Robert Walker's it, mannerisms, everything about him was unambiguously and uh, kind of offensively gay. Right. Yeah. But he's also so good at like saying saying the but, most but, preposterous thing 
but making it sound like it's totally Reason- makes sense. I'm being reasonable here. Yeah. Is there like your murder, my Edu- murder? Edu- you're like, rich yeah, guy, that's man. fine. Okay. Like, hold, hold, hold on. One thing though, Chris is, is that Chris is that if if you're a, a psychopath, mm-hmm. you don't have sexuality. Your sexuality is whatever it is that gets you off. Yeah. So you can be gay towards somebody that you think has gay undertones, and you can be straight towards somebody you think has straight undertones because your sexuality is whatever gets you off. Right. So it doesn't really matter that the undertones are gay when he's talking to Guy, and it doesn't really matter that the undertones are straight when he's strangling that woman. Like the important thing is it's whatever gets him off at the moment. Well, and on top of that, I think that it's just more like he's so the character is so rich that he can say things that sound absolutely psychopathic and absurd yet we go yeah okay yeah well like, and when, guy, when, like when, we, they, when they get back just, together and guy is like you need to get help you need to go somewhere and you need to get help i thought that was great that was the full-on just i'm just gonna say this right, yeah, right. to you You're absolutely right. and i bet in 1951 i don't need this gun either and, and, and like, yeah. 1951 that was unheard of in a movie right. or yeah. even in the culture i don't need this that i was unheard of in 1951 like, you need therapy father obviously took off a dead nazi right <laughs> right right oh I yeah think... the old that was that was that uh it was when you when you think about this being a patricia highsmith book it makes perfect sense because oh, it's yeah. another ripley it's another purple noon mm-hmm. you know it's this guy infiltrates this oh. sort of tony milieu and then oh yeah inf- insinuates himself into it yeah. and just gets people to do shit they would have never done otherwise it's, i agree it's not quite as good and complex Dude, but it's good it's it's, it's, it's good and, man it's actually purple noon in reverse where the rich guy is picking on this tennis guy and on a fish that's not as wealthy yeah right wants she does yeah, have, yeah. that's one thing but I he's realized. marrying a wealthy woman so yeah, we're, yeah, yeah. We're, com- is, we're completely no, in that world it's, it's no, no, he, married, he, married it's crazy. A, he married a woman of moderate means and right. she's cheating on him constantly and <clears throat> then he meets right. her and, right. and obviously Highsmith has a penchant for tennis players and also people of the upper class think, like absolutely. Oh yeah, absolutely yeah yeah yeah. that's what i'm saying it's like it, it feels like a set with those other with those other stories for sure one thing that st- struck me was that the sister the one who's like into whodunits and the barb yeah. Barbara? Patricia, Patricia barb fucking is, hitchcock is yeah, so good daughter. in this barb is, a, barb so is the same character that is uh hume cronin in um shadow of a doubt Yes. You no, know, it's it's like it's it's a it's a Mary Sue character. It's like yeah. uh, uh the guy who's in the Who Done It's a lot. Who, who uh, but she's so who good. Buy. She's but so she is really good. Fantastic. Both uh, times, both times that she she's shows so up bad with the in glasses Psycho. on. She's so bad in Psycho. But mm-hmm. yeah. Both times that she shows up with the glasses on and uh-huh. he's just staring at her mm-hmm. the entire time yeah. when they're out when they're out on the on the balcony at the tennis club and right. she shows up and it's like oh i have to blah 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 and then also when they're at the party and he just starts strangling that woman while he's but, staring at her well, like she said she, oh, he was strangling her but he was really murdering me, me. Yeah. yeah wasn't that something the fact that he froze up while he was strangling that society yeah. gal the party yeah. that was great it's like oh he is crazy oh he's right that's great oh dude I mean, when he when who with the lighter the, the lighter are you are you so and so with the lighter and then just <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, nice. good. Uh, so good. So good. I know. Like, is, is this like the 1951 equivalent of a Michael Bay movie? How? It's, it's a lot. Nothing it's blows up. Oh, I, it's just a the merry-go-round blows up at the end. I love Michael kind of. Bay, but yeah. I don't I almost know. say this is a 51. I would David. say it's more of a 1951 version of a Michael Mann movie. Yeah, or a fifty-one sure. uh, David Fincher sure. film in terms of yeah, like, or a Fincher really oh, Yeah, I, I yeah. Fincher, now you're getting closer. I mean, Michael Bay. I just think of action, and this is not an action right. movie. This, this is, is not a. Ba- this is not a This, a, this is about people this with some psychological crazier. problems. This movie gets crazier and crazier every minute. Yeah, yes, so that's I, true. I, I like I like Scott's interpretation though. I think the Fincher is more accurate because think about that sequence where the lighter falls between that um that grate. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh dude. Which that's very Hitchcockian goes on for a while. Uh-huh. It goes on for quite a while and it's so great that it manipulates the audience because it's like even though you know 
that he's the bad guy, you're like, oh, he's almost got the lighter. Come on, come on, you can do it. I know, you're, 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 rooting, you're rooting for him. At that you know, moment, you are. Get the lighter. But it also, but it also makes the tennis scene that's going on longer than what he expected. Right, we're screwing work. up his timing. Yes, right. like it's yes. like, oh, his timing's yeah. fucked up, but also his timing's fucked up. Yeah, this so is when why they get to the end. Uh-huh. Right. This is why they call Hitchcock the master of suspense. I mean, this right. is. This is, is this is one of his best films, you know, by reputation, and I, I completely buy into that now, having seen it yeah. for the first time, crossing Hitchcock it off the bucket list. So, I never seen but Hitchcock it. is so funny because uh, at the end, at the end, I mean, I don't often just sit yeah, there and talk, uh, in my living room, but I. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't that, see that. That, I had that a last line lunatic, is great. but I felt that yeah. way. Yeah. yeah. And also, also, I know it's all you know back then. I mean, I imagine 1951, and they're doing the oh. outside train shit. It looks long. so good. It actually yeah. does. Like I've actually seen. Like if you watch the new episode of Cobra Kai, the outside window shit does not look as good as this. <laughs> no, because that's no, an actual doesn't. train. They're actually it on the train. Does not look as good as this. It. There's and some stuff. Yeah. Like, there's, there's a reason this was not some made of its real cinematography. Mm-hmm. And also, like Hitchcock has, like, yeah, he's he's a master at this kind of thing. Like, like I said, this, what, what, this... Hitchcock was a pioneer in storyboarding. That guy mm, was one of the yeah. few directors who went out there and actually, well, was, he's famous he's for run. when they got and on set, he had no worries because it's already no. been done. It's, it's all the film's done. done. He's just got to make it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's and like, like, just go. So good. And, and the, uh, and nowhere is it more explicit than when he's going into the house to supposedly kill the father and he's got the map and we're watching him trace yeah, the, dude, the, the path. Great? Uh-huh. And he's going up the stairs and following it's it on the map. So it's like, great. God, it's so that was good. Almost Agatha Christie like. No, nope, the, 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 the dog. The dog. Oh, the dog. Yeah, the dog. All the dog. Spray. The dog is like, oh, yeah. Rrr. At the top of the stairs. He's going to fucking yeah. 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 bite his balls off. And then he just off. walks I mean, up to the yeah. dog. He's just like, then he just walks right by him. So many good bits in this movie. No, but he stops for a moment. He just. He just pets him. He just gives him a yeah. little. Yeah. 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 Hitchcock, okay. Hitchcock is the master, and this is no exception. Well, yeah, it's it's pretty perfect, man. I'm di- well, I'm disappointed that, that Notorious isn't our first Hitchcock, but like. Oh well, all of them are so good, and that is one of the best. I would. Sure. I was going to pick. The, North this North is the West. thing. This Hard is the pick. thing. Though, love it. Every time, every time someone brings me, I'm like, that's the best. That's the best. That's the best. This thing is all the best. I would have picked Frenzy. They are. They're yeah. all the best. Wait, wait, wait. Which one would you have picked, Scott? Frenzy. 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 Oh, oh I, I would pick Vertigo. Frenzy is is uh, hard to know. watch. It's so awful. Nope. I, I would saw pick that Rope or Vertigo. Kevin. Like they're all the best. Yeah, uh-huh. but if you oh. pick Vertigo, you also have to pick High Anxiety. That's the rule. <laughs> <laughs> right, the, them's the rules. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. I, mean, I could. I have a collection. I have the like the this box set. Of yeah, them. I have the same yeah. one. Yeah. You it's know what's like... weird is that Hitchcock is so singular. He's like watching an Elvis Presley movie. It's like it's it's kind of fits in genres, but he's so unique. He's a genre unto himself. He's his own sure. genre. He is. Yeah. The Hitchcock film is. But he not is the man. Bird like, sucks, and you guys know. I also have you guys read uh, what? Truffaut? Bird Hitchcock sucks. Truffaut. But I love it because I loved it when I was a kid. Uh, it's not his best film. What movie? Which one? Birds. I love birds. the birds. I love oh, the birds love because the birds. of the shine. I mean, what is there to say? It's fucking great, man. Oh, oh great. you know, here's what here's something I do want to say. Okay. I do I, I do want to bring up Robert Walker's performance because Good I looked job. the guy up. I'm like, Bruno, I'm like, who is this guy? I've never seen him before. And he's great. This he's was so his good. last film. Wow. He died in 51, the same year this mm-hmm. came out. Of? Oh, no. Yeah. Of? Uh, uh, alcohol Smoke, and depressants. Smoking, smoking That's right. He OD'd, right? Yeah, yeah, it was accidental is what I read. But, you know, he was a troubled guy, apparently. He was probably a drug addict of sorts. Yeah. Was this so, kid in Star Trek? What? Robert yeah. Walker's kid? Yeah, wasn't he in the second his, Star Trek? His performance in this is so good. It's, it's really so good. good. Although I, I kept looking at Farley Granger thinking, you know, you could swap these actors and it would probably work just as well. Because Farley he Granger, wanted, he wanted William Holden to be. Yes, I love, I which love I think would not have been as good. No, I don't think it I would, would not. It would William not. Holden's too imposing. I love, yes. I love Farley Granger. You can't Farley boss Granger. William Holden around. And, Farley and, Granger, I love Farley Granger. He was in Rope. Mm-hmm. Right, and then maybe that's what made me think of it because I've already seen Rope, and I was like, I could see Farley Granger as a murderer, no problem. It's like uh, it's because I have seen Farley Granger as a murderer. I think yeah, he was in the Detour in, as well, that, right? By night, with, yeah, by, yeah, um, Detour, a, de- uh, a film noir. Oh, yeah, Detour, he's, uh, he's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Criterion did that one too. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, this movie is almost critic proof. Like, like because I'm watching him, like, oh, that's where all the 
directors that I love stole all their shit from. <laughs> Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. It's, that's it's bonkers. It's it's but it's tight as a drum. It it's is. just I, it's it's a machine to stress you out. There's yes. a great there's a great CSI episode that's based on two people who have seen this movie and then they decide to do <laughs> the murder. They're gonna do the swapping oh, hold on, murder. They decide to do the hold murder. on though. One of my favorite Danny DeVito is throw mama from the train. Right. Mm -hmm. The entire premise is Danny DeVito saw this movie. <laughs> that's right. That's really right. crystal crisscross. Uh, right. right. yeah. Exactly. My mama, I'll kill your wife. Right. Right. Cool. And they keep showing, the, and, and all I knew of this movie was that movie. Oh, you know, you know what's so funny about watching this movie again, though? This might have been like the third or fourth time I saw it, but for a person who's not supposed to contact him, oh, he's he's to him all the fucking time. He uh, calls him up. The first thing right. he calls him up. Really? First of all, first of all, he's got the he. Okay, he's got the he's, he's got the lighter. Fucking mom. Wait. Like, but he's, he's literally he comes over to his house at one right. point. You're yeah. like, can you stop? Can you <laughs> not do this? Like, what Literally, are you right? doing? He's actually he's actually the least scary antagonist because it's just like, God damn, you're so stupid. Well, like, but also, well, also, I think, I think a different movie would be like Folly Grange, just like let's just be friends and go and have beers, and that would be like a whole different movie. They well, the would just is, actually it, have like it, a relationship. You, but the thing is that right that like, turns that turns into that turns into uh before sunset two. Yeah, <laughs> but also this is going back to the gay subtext. That means that that, that Bruno is attracted to him, and he can't keep his hands off of him. Basically. Well, he is attracted to him. He's like he talks him up right at the beginning. But he's not attracted to him. He's not attracted to him sexually. He's attracted to him on uh, what he represents. Like a, right. I don't know. Well, he's, he's, he's sort of a celebrity. You could toss right. a coin on that one. You could talk about with that the Hayes Code and why you. No, because then the because then the guy at the end is like, "Hey, are, aren't you that?" that tennis player and which is like, a great capper and he it's starts to go ended. yeah nope. and then and then Anne's like no you are not and he's like no i'm not and that's <laughs> just yeah that's a great closing scene yeah and, and he's got the sports page open he's literally just like looking at the and also the, the, the guy they blow off they actually walk out of the train car it, it's a priest it's a vicar that's yes, right it's that a was fun. Priest. Uh -huh. but it is funny even at the very, yeah somebody very who would never though. sexually that's assault a, and murder yeah. anyone like <laughs> But at Again, the very beginning, that commentary? Like Bruno, it is. Bruno's character at the very beginning, which is totally innocent, he knew so much about Guy's career. I mean, that was innocent. crazy. Innocent. Yes. I don't think he's innocent at all. I don't think he's innocent, but I just mean like, how the fuck did he know so much about that? Because guy? he's a famous he's tennis a, player. So it's no, just but also he was a, he was personally obsessed with him. That's just the yeah. way I'm looking at it. Yeah. Yeah. And then he's just, and he's like, oh, he takes that same train that I take. It's like if you were on the train that, that Joe Biden took back and forth to Delaware, you'd be <laughs> like, oh, Joe Biden's on this train. I bet I could get him to kill someone well, for me. We're going <laughs> to get here, but if I was on a train that Mia Goth ever took, I would make it a point to be there at the first well, that's, I think that's I think that's actually a sensible thing to do. Well, what, thumbs. All right, thumbs. Come on. I mean, this is a brilliant it's, piece it's, of it's work, good, dude. The first, first good Hitchcock film. Yeah. Also, this we didn't is... talk about it too much, but as it gets crazier, it gets funny. Just as yes. it just as it just is, he's tightening the screws, and it's so tense, it starts to get really funny. That ending is hilarious. It is. <laughs> it's actually. I, really I also I really like the part where uh, the lighter down the storm drain's hilarious. Well, it's I good. really I really like the part where um, what's her name uh roman and uh patricia hitchcock are in the the stands together yeah and she's like okay you got to go find the guy and you got to give him this and you got to tell him this you got to tip him this much yeah, yeah, yeah make sure he's over here and all that stuff and then that the the scene just goes on and on and on and on because he can't beat him at tennis right yeah. like and then he beats him at tennis. He's like, "Oh fuck, I'm out!" Uh, and he yeah, that's him. a hell of a thing to hang your to hang your whole plan on. Is like, I'm going to win this tennis game, and then, and then I got to rush over here and foil yeah. this bad guy, and it will time out perfectly. Yeah. yeah. Also, yeah, it is two, a bit much. two things. One, when after he kills her on the the island, and he goes and he gets back in the boat, and he's just yeah. like reverse, just drives back away. I was just like. I'm going to take this boat to Cuba. Yeah, very like, much. This is my immediate response. Was it's just like, oh man, you're talking about the subject of painting the guy's uh, wife girlfriend as a hua that they went went all out on that one, didn't they? Mm, they yeah, sure yeah. did. Yeah. Oh my god. This and then is, also, yeah. and then also, 
the cops don't want to save them at all. And they're like, hey, Carney, you want to go? And yeah, he's yeah. like, yeah, I can. I know how this works. So he goes in yeah, and the old guy's like, and I'll risk my life. <laughs> And, 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 no... and uh, did you see him wiping his mouth at one point before he got to the middle of the ride? Well, yeah. He doesn't have. Any he took teeth. a pause. He doesn't yeah. have any teeth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was Should we pause this? First of all, he's a carny. Yeah. He has no teeth. He has twelve pauses. Like yeah. he's just like I'm going there. Just another he's day like, at the office. And yeah, he's, there's he's, no he's... plug to unplug. We got to climb under the goddamn merry-go-round. Yeah. Yeah, he had to get to the lever. To he had to get, he had to the get to the lever. It's because also, also, by the way, I hope the cop who shot that fucking right, carny shot him in the rubber, fucking head. He gets. I hope he gets reprimanded for killing a fucking innocent person. He won't yeah, no shit. <laughs> also, the OSHA. No such thing as OSHA back then, was there? There's like, uh, there's no such thing as OSHA at any carnival. Have you? Been I guess to a carnival? there isn't really. It's all bullshit. But that cop shot a carny. Right. carny. That cop shot a carny who was just operating a ride. Right, and He's that guy's like, dead. <laughs> Is this the first movie that what the fuck like, that you got to go and like pull the lever to make the thing stop or go? No, but, like, but what the fuck? That cop sense? needs to be arrested. Like like, it, but what sure the it fuck? Is. You shot a regular person and he died. Uh huh. Right? And and it turns out they have qualified immunity, and that's I'm how thinking about works. Yeah, pretty much, even back then, it's like oh, it's Chris, like, I just saw the poster where he's putting the L in strangers to make it stranglers. That's cute. Strang- oh, okay. that's adorable. Strang- that's stranglers on a train. Uh, nice. Oh, like that. Uh, good uh, pick. Just, we can all agree that Hitchcock, Hitchcock is a fucking genius. He is yeah. the best. Pretty much. The best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good, inter- good, good. Perfect movie. Man. Great yeah, choices. I don't know if it's a. Per- I, I don't know if it's week. a perfect movie, but it's close to a perfect movie. It's like it's in the beyond. It's, it's, it's way up there. Groundbreaking for 1951. 